Christmas is most definitely in the air and it is certainly sweater weather pretty much everywhere in the U.S. right now. I'm down here in Texas where it's quite hot most of the time and we have had a day that's been in the 30s. So it's been really nice watching the weather change around here. My name is Katie. I wanted to give you a hairstyle this time that would work really well for the sweaters that you're wearing. Something that's very pretty, also easy to do, and goes with the weather that we're having. So I've sectioned off the top half of my hair. I want to leave enough down in this bottom section to make a substantial enough ponytail. You can always add extensions for extra volume if you'd like to. This hairstyle looks really great if you have braided your hair the day prior to this so you still have some wave in your hair. I am using my organic dry shampoo here and I'll put a link for that below in case you want to know the recipe. This is going to add a lot of texture to my hair so I'm using this in place of texture spray. This way I can pull apart my braids a lot larger than I would normally be able to without it. It gets them um, a stick to keep them in place really nicely. So here I am Dutch braiding and that means I'm braiding under a three strand braid. And I'm going to use up all the hair on this side. You can part your hair down the center if you like. I like to do mine asymmetrical because I think that looks better with my face shape. So do whichever parting you would like but just make sure that you end up with an even amount of hair on each side. And now as you can see I applied more of the powder right on top of the braid um, brushing it in and I'm pulling apart the braid fairly largely before I continue on braiding down the rest of this strand. So again, apply more texture as you go with the organic dry shampoo and pull apart your braid. And I wanted to show you this. I have some of my um, layers coming out here. And what you do is you undo that section, twist it, and redo it. And now it goes in towards the center of the braid and you can let the rest of the braid go. And this is how I'm going to finish up the braid. I wanted to show you really close up here this technique. It's really fun. I like to use the tiny bobby pins that they have at Sally's. So I'm putting this in the back side of the braid and I'm trying to catch all three strands here. Going up the braid vertically. Once I get it in, I'm going to check on the other side to make sure nothing's popping out. There is a little piece on the end, so I'm going to readjust that. Because when I turn the braid over, I want that bobby pin to be invisible. And this gives the illusion that my braid is going to come unraveled at any time, but it's not going to, and that's a really great effect to have. And again, I'm going to repeat everything that I did on the other side as well. Pay careful attention when you're Dutch braiding in the very first strands to not make them too tight. We do want this to be more of a loose and romantic look. Now that both braids are finished, just double check and make sure they look exactly the way you want them to. And we're going to pull them into the back. Release that hair at the bottom of your neck and brush it upwards. We don't want this to be a really low ponytail all the way down because that will catch on the back of your sweaters and your jackets as you take them on and off. Pull it out, make it tangled. So I'm pulling the ponytail up just slightly to get it off the back of my neck. Making sure that the braids are on top and securing all the hair into place right there. A 
And those bobby pins go in and out of that ponytail holder very easily. They didn't give me any trouble at all. Now I'm just making sure that my braids are still laying on top the way that I want. Gathering a small section of hair from the bottom and we're gonna hide that ponytail elastic. Wrap it around using up all the hair. Once I get to the end, I'm gonna take another one of those tiny bobby pins, catch it around the end a couple times, and stick that in behind the ponytail to hide it. I love this hairstyle. I'm definitely gonna wear it several times this season. I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.